Good day, everybody. Okay, we got a new project, and this is a PWM a pulse with modulation wave. Okay, and um, this is a square wave. Okay, as you can see, while I talk, uh, there is obviously space in between the waves, which is supposed to distance uh, the calculation the Amplitude. So let me see if we can change it. So, uh, yeah, you can get it smaller square waves. Um, obviously, it requires a bigger sound here. Small. There we are. Perhaps this one will work better. See, it might be a bit. Uh, too blocked. Here we are. <clears throat> this is hello, hello. Yeah, it. Uh, it also it's not only the amplitude, but it's also the distance of the, of the semicycle. You know that uh, the distance between the the two semicycle, which vibrate as the dynamic sound is available. Okay, so this is the way it works. Okay, so what uh, what we did here, it's the same principle. I've done, I made a, a railing here for three point three volt for the uh, for the sound sensor. Okay, which picks it up here, the ground and the and the three point three volt. The sound sensor has a, a, a VC. You can see here is a VCC and ground and then out. Pin out, it's the last one, that one there. So the pin out goes to um, GPIO 4 or pin 4 on the ESP32C3. And then we have the, um, the connection for the uh, data cable for the uh, OLED screen which is the yellow one, it's a ACL, which goes to number six on the board, chip board. And this is ACL, and ACL goes to number seven, sorry, uh, SDA. ACL is a yellow one, SDA is a green one. So ACL is number six, and SDA, it's number seven. Okay. Um, that's it. There's not much to talk about, but let me see. Yeah, let's see if it works maybe a little bit better. Okay, this is a bit... Uh, well, let's have a look at the code. Okay, so we have the code here. Okay, and you can see that, uh, sorry, I'm gonna... okay, so we have, um, L, you know, you need the LED, uh, not LED, the uh, L, LEDC um, library, okay, so it'll show you how you get it. Um, so to generate the PW signal, this is your main, okay? So here yeah, you set up the frequency, update the PWM frequency dynamically, okay? And then you have here this, the, the duty cycle. Uh, set the pulse with, uh, with the bass and the sound level, okay? So we got that, the duty cycle, which does that. Okay, so this is are your main codes, and then the rest is this is display when it shows, and here it's the library. Uh, you need a driver forward slash ledc dot h. Okay, and you go here usually. Let me see. 
probably doesn't work. Yeah, this is where you get your library, and you type your library here. Okay, so you see some of the library you 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 can't get them. You have to go to GitHub. Uh, GitHub. I'm not sure why, but they are not part of the Arduino IDE. <coughs> See this one, you take it. Uh, what I'll do, I'll put the, uh, I'll put the, um, sorry, it's a drive, yeah. I will put the, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, the GitHub um, where you get it. But in this case, uh, it's already incorporated in the Arduino when you install it, so it shouldn't be a problem. But just in case you don't have it, you go to get it. Guitar, okay, because you won't get it from here, just to let you know. All right, so I think we covered almost everything. This is still a bit, it's a weather raining, so it's a bit of, a, there's not much light. But if I put too much light, I get a, a flickering, a frequently horizontal column that move up and down, so that's not okay. So, hello, hello, how did this work? Okay, eh? yeah, hello, hello, yeah, all right, guys. I think we cover everything. Well, thank you very much. Have a good day, and please thumbs up if you like it.